Hello friends. It is a small illustration regarding how to express compositions on triangular coordinates. This type of system is extensively used to show the interrelation in the concentration of terminary system. This diagram consists of a triangle as drawn in this figure subdivided into number of small triangles like these all small triangles to make the expression of concentration easy and distinct. This system is based on a simple principle for equilateral triangle which you must have learnt in your high school geometry classes. This principle states that the sum of the perpendicular distances from any point, any arbitrary point within this triangle, if we draw the perpendiculars, the sum of all these perpendicular distances should be equal to the altitude of the triangle, any of the altitude of the triangle. So in this case we can see that the altitude represents 100% of the composition. Hence, the sum of all these sides, these perpendiculars, should be equal to 100% of the composition. So, let us go into the deepness of this diagram. Let us consider this point as C, this is as A and this is B. Let it be. Each apex of this diagram, like this C, A and B, represents the pure substance, 100% pure substance. This point C will represent 100% of C. This will represent 100% of B. And it will represent 100% of A. Each side of the triangle represents a binary mixture. As this line AC represents a binary mixture of A and C. This line AB represents binary mixture of A and B and this line CB represents binary mixture of B and C. So every binary mixture will lie on each side of the triangle. So let us take a simple example of a binary system. Having A is equal to 60% and composition of B is equal to 40%. As here the composition of A is 100%, it will be here at 0%. As we are having 100% of B here, so no other component will be present at this point except B. So starting from 0, 0% 0 of A, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. It will be 60% of A. And let us draw 40% of B. It is 0% of B, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. Yes, it is the point for 60% of A and 40% of B. Let me rub this. Okay. The same logic applies here for a ternary mixture also. If we want to represent an eternary mixture, we have to keep in mind all these three components and their relative concentration with each other. If we want to express the composition of C, we should observe the composition along these horizontal lines. If we want to express the composition of B, we should observe it along these slash lines. And if we want to see the concentration of A, we should observe it along these lines. So the point of intersection of all these three compositions represented will represent the concentration at that particular point. So let us take a simple example of a point. Here we want to express its composition. So let us take that point P having concentration of A is equal to 30%, B is equal to 40%, and C is remaining, that is 30%. So, let us start to situate this composition on this ternary diagram. So, take one thing in mind, that whenever you want to express it on a ternary diagram, start it from C. 
you can start it from any point but it is convenient to choose c first as we can observe the composition of c along these horizontal lines so let us situate this point 30 percent of c first as this is zero percent of c this baseline it is zero 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and oh yeah it's 100 okay so 30 percent of c will be somewhere here this line let us situate the point 40 percent of b so for b we have to observe these slashed lines so this point is 0 percent of b 0 10 20 30 and 40 this is the line for 40 percent of b and let us situate the point 30 percent of a so for a we are observing these lines so take along these lines 0 percent of a 10 20 and 30 this line the point of intersection of all these lines is the composition at that point that is 30 percent of a 40 percent of b and 30 percent of c as you must have observed that if we situate any two points any two points in this diagram there is no need to situate the third point as it automatically get fixed so you can situate any of these points if we have situated a point a and c so there is no need to situate the point b separately it will get automatically situated in the diagram so that's all in today's video see you soon